Hi everyone, I'm glad to see you on my channel. My name is Inna and I'm a nail master. I really love my work, so I've decided to share some nail design ideas with you in the video on my YouTube channel. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Today I have these hands in my work. The coating here was holding for too long. The correction should have been done a long time ago. The client fully realized everything, but due to life circumstances, she was able to come to the correction only now. Some nails are barely holding on, as there are a lot of detachments. That is the example of what will happen if you hold the coating for too long and do not come to the correction in time. I can say it again and again, but my task is to fix the situation and I begin to remove the old material. I hold the client's nail with my finger so that it doesn't vibrate while I'm working with the bead, and this vibration doesn't cause discomfort to the client. I work very carefully. There are cracks and they are deep enough, so it's better to remove the length and then extend it. Such cracks can lead to the nail breakage in a week or two after the correction. Now filing. I need to remove the gloss from the overgrown part of the nail plate. If I leave the glossy areas, then very soon there will be detachments in these places. I also work very carefully with the nail file. I barely touch the nail surface. I do not press on the nail plate and remove the gloss gradually. I shape the free edge of the surviving nails. The client likes a straight edge, as in squares, but without corners. So I round the corners and try to keep the nail edge straight. Usually I remove the old material and make a manicure on one hand completely and then on the second. But today I decided at first to remove the old material on both hands to free the nails from the weight of the overgrown coating. It's a terror on the second hand. The client has turned out the nail on her index finger and there is a wound that hasn't yet healed. If I use a bit to remove the length, it will be very painful for the client, so I use nippers. And now very slowly and carefully, barely touching the bit to the surface, I remove the old material. I constantly treat the nail with antiseptic.
I can't remove the material completely. The client feels great pain. Therefore, I leave a thin layer. I cover the nails with a medical plaster. Let us heal it. I will not cover it with gel polish today. Now it's time for the manicure. I move the cuticle aside with a pusher and make a manicure with a bit. I work with the reverse mode. That is, in the forward mode I work on the left side and then in the reverse I work on the right side. With my finger I constantly pull the client's skin out so that I can see the subcuticular pocket and what else is left to clean out. I apply a primer to the prepared nails. Now the base coat. This is a primer layer. I apply it thinly, rubbing the material into the surface of the nail. The base penetrates deeply into the fluffed scales and there will be no detachments. Of course, provided that the client arrives on time for correction. I place the foam. Some nails need to be extended and aligned along the length with the good ones. I cut from the points of ingrowth so that the side rollers do not prevent me from narrowing the foam. I built a free edge with a poly gel. It's very simple. Poly gel doesn't spread, it's very convenient to work with. I sculpt a new free edge like it's plasticine. I make sure that the points of ingrowth are covered. I will use the same polish gel for strengthening. There are a lot of small cracks on the nails. In my work experience, I noticed that the polish gel fastens these cracks perfectly. And after 4 weeks, the client returns with the unhurt coating. Under the polish gel, the cracks grow together without causing any discomfort to the client. With an orange stick wetted in a degreaser, I trample the material forming the surface of the nail. The strengthening is ready. Now filing. The polygel should always be aligned. Even if it seems that the surface is even, then the color coating will show all the defects. I use a bit to pass over the surface and level it. The client likes light colors on nail, so the shade of the polygel will also be the main color. Now the design. I mix bright pink in white gel polish. I draw bright petals and with a lighter mixture I highlight some areas. The second hand will have a different design. I paste the stripes, so that on one side there was a smooth, clear line and on the other side I do color shading. I deck in the middle with a pure color, slightly shade the petals.
I make the tips a little brighter. I draw four more petals. I add streaks to the white color. I add some ribbons to the design. They are on adhesive backing, I just stick them on. I cut off the axis in such a way that a millimeter remains from the cut to the edge of the nail. Then the ribbons will be completely covered by the top coat and will be holding until the next correction. I mix black gel polish in the top coat and darken the middle. With black gel paint I make thin lines and draw petals. I cover all nails with a top coat. I thinly outline the design with white gel paint without a sticky layer. It was a very difficult case today. It was also difficult for me emotionally. I really did want to hurt my client. Although there was no my fault in this situation, but the responsibility for the work lay still on me. Have you ever been in a similar situation? Please answer in the comments. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. If so, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel. There are many interesting videos ahead. And that's all for today. All the best and have a good day.